I'm staying with Lynn Sutton from Rock City Boxing, who has a very unique program that you may never have heard about. So Lynn, tell us, what is Rock City Boxing? Rock Steady Boxing is a national program that started in Indianapolis, Indiana, um, probably about 13 years ago, uh, specifically for people with Parkinson's. It was proven that uh, the boxing exercise regiment benefited people with Parkinson's to slow down the progression of the disease. We are here at the Island Athletic Club in Graysonville, Maryland. We are we host the Rock Steady Boxing Midshore affiliate. I am the owner of that um, and have been for the last two years. Uh, coming up on that anniversary. Kirk, how long have you been doing this? Uh, since the beginning, which was about two and a half years ago. That's right. So, is it a lot of fun? It's fun, it's hard work, yeah. but uh, the rewards are obvious and worth every minute. And this is a real boxing class. So yeah. what are you guys doing in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's important is for people to know that it's a non-contact boxing class mm -hmm. because I have had that question from people that are interested. Am I going to hit somebody or is somebody to hit me? No, <laughs> that is not why we're here. But the boxing regiment um, causes our participants to do a lot of multitasking through just their body movements, but we also ask for a lot of vocal uh, contribution every time that they are producing much moving. I'm Nora, I'm a volunteer. I'm Russ, I'm a boxer. I'm Pat, I'm a volunteer. I'm Jim, and I'm a rock steady boxer. And we provide an evaluation for boxers so that we make sure that they're fit into the perfect class because we do have two levels. We have some people that are aging with the disease and we have people that are um, younger with the disease, this disease. So um, we try to make sure it fits. And uh, we bring in boxers, participants from as far as Rock Hall, Kent County, Talbot County, and of course Queen Anne's County, and Caroline County too. So I'm sitting here with Russ. Russ, you're a volunteer, right? That's right. So volunteer. how long have you been volunteering? Uh, my wife Nora and I have been uh, volunteers with uh, Lynn since she started the program mm -hmm. back in September 2017. Right. So, how do you guys get involved with that? Well, Lynn's our trainer, and so uh, and we've been close to her and her family for years. I personally got involved because my father was diagnosed with Parkinson's and being a personal trainer for the last 22 years, I knew that exercise was important for him to just have him function throughout the day and realized that if I put some time and effort and became certified that I could provide that program in my own community. That she had gone to all this uh, extent to learn treatment methods because she's got to help. Right. So extent. And, and with these people for going on two years now. Right. It's, it's very, very important. What's key is I always like to make sure that everybody knows that um, the success of this program is uh, proven to help people slow the progression down. But what we do feel um, and have found in this last um, almost two years is that people have gotten more physically fit, so that's huge. And that we do believe that the movement probably is better, but also is not any worse from when they walked in. How long have you been taking this class? Two years. Two years? Yeah. What's your favorite workout that you do while you're here? Speed bags. The speed bags? Yeah. Are you fast? Yeah. During the class, I work one of the stations, and then uh, I help the boxers wrap their hands right. before we get started. The wrapping is kind of interesting. I, of course, didn't know anything about it. Uh, I never boxed in my life on purpose. But, uh, <laughs> but I find, like so many things that you want to learn how to do, all you have to do is go to YouTube. So I watched this one uh, video about four times and practiced a little bit on myself and then brought that back to the class. And so now that's the way I do it. So how can people get some more information about the program? Yeah, so it is important to register for this program. Uh -huh. um, and that can be done here at the Island Athletic Club, but just by walking in um, or people can contact me me directly as the Rocksteady boxing coach. Um, do you want my phone number? <laughs> yeah. Give it to him. Okay, so it's 410-703-9162. I know we were talking before this even started, and this is a national thing, And mm -hmm. but you right here, and you were talking about there's a, actually a program that helps with finances, or you actually got a grant. How mm -hmm. did that work? Right, so thanks to some of our volunteers, um, and the success of this program is uh, kind of the idea, if you build it, they'll come. Right. Um, so we built it, and um, people come. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the Maryland Association of 
of Parkinson's support group uh, now finances this program. Um, so we do ask our participants, if possible, to give a monthly contribution when they register um, to the Maryland Association of Parkinson's support groups. Um, and at the same time, though, MAPS, as they're called, um, make sure that if somebody financially can't make that contribution, and we do ask for a minimum of $25, that they don't have to. Um, they make sure that people can come in here free of charge. What's your favorite part of the class? Uh, the end. You? <laughs> <laughs> After a good workout, you're ready to stop. When it's all done, are you exhausted? I am exhausted. Ready to go home? Yes. Maybe we should just skip today. You want to just go home now, Steve? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, we're getting out of here.